The air looks dusty today. Or is that fog? Or is my windshield just dirty? Whatever it is, you can see there are particles in the air. We all know that particles are everywhere. Some particles are beneficial, like the small ones in sandpaper, and some are detrimental, like cigarette smoke. But where there are particles in the air, there too you will find MSP's particle instruments all over the world. They are used by research scientists and technicians to understand and measure just what's out there in the air we breathe, and to devise methods to control unwanted and even harmful particles and fibers. Fifteen years before MSP was started, the company founders Dr. Benjamin Liu and Dr. Virgil Marple, both at the University of Minnesota, created a particle measurement device known as a cascade impactor. At first glance, it was just one more gadget on a laboratory bench, but over time, it came to have a large impact, if you'll forgive the pun. The first cascade impactor gave rise to a worldwide following of Moody users, with over 1,000 of the impactors in use by the worldwide technical community. The Moody devices measure particles in the air, which are then collected manually for analysis. In essence, it takes a sample of airborne particulate matter during a given time period. To deliver that information live and in real time, MSP built the Wide Range Particle Spectrometer, the world's first to measure particles in the entire range of 10 nanometers to 10 microns, and do it all while being small enough that one person can easily carry, set up, and run the device. This instrument was one of several chosen by Chinese authorities to monitor air quality in Beijing during the 2008 Olympics because it measures particles in real time without someone having to manually collect and test the samples. While the Moody and WPS offer tremendous information about the physical characteristics of what's in the air we breathe, there's more data that can be gathered. In particular, the chemistry is very important to the health effects of the ambient particulate matter, including public health officials, meteorologists, epidemiologists, and climatologists. To that end, we built the HTDMA, a device that measures the particle response to different levels of humidity. Information about how particles absorb and release moisture compared to the relative humidity tells scientists about the particles themselves. This kind of information could have a large impact on climate science and other fields. It's easy to see that what's in the air we breathe is critically important to every one of us. And because we can't see most of the tiny particles and fibers, it's easy to forget that the air is always full of them. Because of this far-reaching impact, government-sponsored researchers are among the most common users of MSP equipment. We've seen our testing equipment carried by hand, attached to planes, and mounted on skyscrapers. From the Departments of Defense and Energy or the National Institute of Health in the U.S. to a large number of foreign governments, we're intimately involved with air sampling research. Deploying our equipment to collect samples and data on our atmosphere is, you might even say, as common as the air we breathe. And every day, we're enabling our customers to find out more about it. We're MSP. Microtechnologies. Big Ideas.